Hey everyone, uh, Sean O'Connor here. I'm uh, the course lead and one of the co-authors of the new SANS Forensic uh, 589 uh, Cybercrime Intelligence course. Um, now, what is this course all about? Well, to put it simply, it focuses on the collection, analysis, and dissemination of information related to cyber criminal activities. And really the way that we approached this course was from both a cyber threat perspective and a law enforcement perspective. And you know, one of the reasons why we did this was sort of to foster a better understanding and collaboration between both the public and the private sectors, uh, specifically when you know, tackling cybercrime. And you know, so leading into the why, you know, why we created this course, uh, well, first, we recognized that there was a gap, especially, you know, when it comes to cybercrime intelligence training, uh, but more specifically around all of the unique vantage points that uh, we can use to collect intelligence on these cybercriminal actors, such as the cybercrime underground, where they operate, uh, as well as the blockchain, where their financial operations can be, uh, can be seen. So, you know, we, we formed this course to essentially address those gaps. Um, so let's talk just a little bit about the course structure. It's uh, a five-day course, uh, four days of lecture, one uh, full day of a, a CTF. And uh, so we sort of start the course off with, you know, fundamentals of cybercrime, cybercrime intelligence, uh, highlight relevant frameworks, core concepts, like uh, what is the difference between an indicator and an identifier and understanding how, you know, a collection or a cluster of these identifiers can actually lead you to a real world identity. Um, and then we also teach students about OPSEC, of course, that's day one, you know, as, as well as uh, how to develop sock puppets with, uh, you know, one of the labs, we have them build uh, a sock puppet, starting with the infrastructure to the backstory, uh, thinking about what uh, that sock puppet will be used for, you know, that sock puppet strategy. Uh, then we, you know, get into a deep dive into the cybercrime underground, taking kind of a diamond model approach, you know, teaching students how to first start with uh, profiling the adversary, um, you know, who operates within the underground and then uh, map their underground activities, you know, their posts, uh, their, the leaks, the things they sell to capabilities, uh, analyzing their infrastructure that facilitates cybercrime as well as the infrastructure that's used in attacks. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we, we take what you see in underground activity uh, to identify uh, victims, potential victims, uh, and preferably catching it before something like domain-wide ransomware occurs. Uh, then we get into kind of the other vantage point, which is a really crucial vantage point, and that is blockchain-focused uh, vantage points. Like uh, we, we teach students, um, you know, uh, about cryptocurrencies and, and uh, you know, how they facilitate cybercrime and how cyber criminals use them, uh, the techniques for uh, tracing transactions, exposing criminals, uh, understanding the techniques that the criminals use for on-chain obfuscation and for laundering. Um, you know, this part of the course really kind of highlights uh, the blockchain's significance in financial intelligence or what's traditionally known as, you know, finit. Um, emphasizing that, you know, financial motivations of cyber criminals represent both their drive as well as a vulnerability that can be exploited through tracing their, their monetary activities to uncover real world identities. Um, you know, additionally, we also provide students with a ton of hands on labs that are tied to actual cyber, cyber criminal cases, as well as crypto specific cases. Um, from tracing stolen funds, uh, profiling bulletproof hosting providers, analyzing ransom payments, how to follow affiliates from one group to the, in, to the next. Um, and then we get into undercover operations and countermeasures, kind of a cybercrime underground part two. Uh, and in, in this section, uh, we leverage those sock puppets that we developed from the first day to infiltrate the first ever SAN cybercrime forum. Uh, which we're really excited about. Um, and, and then we teach uh, students how to perform adversary engagements, you know, human intelligence collection, how to identify uh, strategies for disrupting cybercrime operations, you know, including like financial disruptions, essentially, you know, hitting them where it hurts, uh, as well as technical disruptions like takedowns. You know, I think the Emotet botnet takedown was a perfect example of one. Um, and then getting into the CTF, you know, we provide uh, students with a really great scenario 
uh, all hypothetical, uh, a ton of artifacts related to attacks. And then we have the students go hunt for the cyber criminals uh, within this SANS fictitious cybercrime forum to identify who's responsible for those attacks. And yeah, so, you know, that's our course, Cybercrime Intelligence. And, you know, if you're like me and you want to try and find ways to impose costs on criminals, making it less profitable and riskier for them to do business, then sign up for our new class and we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you uh, the next time we uh, have a class. And, uh, and if you want to learn more, you can uh, visit uh, sans.org slash F-O-R 589.